Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is remove duplicate elements from a sorted linked list and it is an easy level problem. So the problem says that we have been given a linked list of n nodes and our task is to remove duplicate nodes. Right. Now they have also specially mentioned in a note that we don't want to use any extra space and the nodes are already arranged in a sorted way. Right. So this part is very very important that the nodes are arranged in a sorted manner and we'll see how it does it help us. Right. So let me just take this particular sample test case and then we'll discuss how we can solve this problem. So we have it here. Now let's say I have 2, 2 and then 4 and then 5. Right. So if all the elements are arranged in sorted order, there is one thing for sure that all the similar elements will be grouped together. Right. So if there are multiple tools like this, right, they will be together. And any other element, let's say then 5 comes, it will be grouped together. So whenever they are present in groups, it is very easy to consider only one of the elements from the group and remove all of the others. So this will be the key idea of our solution that all the similar elements are already present in a group since the linked list is in sorted order and we would want to keep only one element from each group. Right. So how do we actually do this? Let us see. So let's say this is our complete linked list and let's say this is our previous pointer P and this is our current pointer C. Right. Now, since the previous pointer is null pointer, I would not do anything. I would just move on to the next pointer and I'll also update my previous pointer. So now my previous pointer becomes this and my current pointer is this. Now, since my previous pointer has some actual value, I'll try to compare the previous and the current pointer. I'll try to see whether these two values are equal or not. Right? Because if these two values are equal, then definitely I would want to remove one of the nodes. Since these two values are not equal, I'll not do anything. I'll move both my previous and my current pointer. Now I'll see that my previous and my current pointer are equal. Right. So now what I can do is I can try to remove this particular node. And you don't actually have to remove the nodes. What you can do is currently, currently the link is like this. Right. The previous node is going to the current node and the current node is going to its next node. So what you can do instead do is you can just directly make this link like this. Right. So you will do previous dot next is equal to current dot next. So this is the only thing that you have to do. Now what will happen whenever you come to the previous element, you will skip all of these elements in between and you will just directly go to this particular element. Now when you update your current pointer, in this particular case, we are not going to move our previous pointer because this element was eliminated from the list. Right. So now previous pointer will remain as it is and the current pointer will move to the next position. Now what I will do, I will move my current pointer forward. So current will come here and previous will come here. Right. Now since they are not equal, so I will proceed and my current pointer will go here. So now since the current pointer is equal to null, I am just going to terminate from this traversal. So you see, you don't have to do anything. Whenever the previous pointer is equal to the null pointer, you will have to update your previous dot next as current dot next. So if previous data is equals to current data, right? So you will have to do this. Otherwise, else you can update your previous as current, right? So why am I writing it in else? Because when I do this operation, I don't want to update my previous. When I don't want to do this particular operation, I would then update my previous. Right. And in any of the cases, you would obviously mark your current as current dot next. So this problem was very simple. Now let us have a look at the final code. So you see what I've done is I've initialized two pointers, previous and current. So previous is initially null pointer and current is initially head. Now I have a while loop so that I can traverse to the whole linked list. Now I first check whether my previous is not equal to null pointer. Only then I'm going to proceed inside this. Now I compare the data of both of the pointers, previous and current. If both of them are equal, then I set my previous next as current next. Otherwise, I'll just update my previous as current. Now if the previous is equal to null pointer or your current pointer was equal to the head, you can just directly update your previous as current. Right. Now at the end, you can just mark your current as current.next and then you can just turn your head. 
So this would be the solution for this particular problem. Now let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works. So you see passes all the test cases and there is one more thing that you can do and that is for example in this particular case we are just removing the link we are not actually removing the node right. So you can also try to remove the node as well. So let me just create a to delete pointer. So initially it is equals to null pointer. Now what I will do I will set my to delete as current. So you see when I wanted to delete my current node I just update my to delete as current. And whenever at the end I feel that to delete is not equals to null pointer and there is some element I want to delete, I can just delete this to delete pointer. So this will actually remove the node from the memory and it will free up some space, right? So in the previous method, we were just removing the link, but in this method, we are also actually deleting the node from the memory. So let me just submit this also and show you that this should also work. So you see passes all the test cases and there is one very important thing that you will have to remember since we are storing the current element in the to delete uh, pointer. So you should always make sure that you are only deleting this element after you have used your current element. Right? So the last use was here where I was setting current is equal to current dot next. But if I delete this current node before even using it then it will lead to some errors. Right? So that was it for this video. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.